Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. I'm gonna be taking a look at the next person that wants to date you for the month of November. And this is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from Whispers of Love Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in and show me the next person that wants to date Virgo. Oh, could be a Scorpio. I do have the judgment card coming out. You know, maybe they want a second chance, but this is a focus for new love. In their mind, it might be new love, right? Yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody's like, let's work this out. Um, but this could also be somebody going through a change, a rebirth here. Someone who is feeling different than they once did and finding a good balance in their life. So that tells me that this person, whoever they are, and I'm not going to say it's an ex because I'm not really picking up on the vibe of like, oh, it's an ex, you know, but somebody who is letting go of the old version of themselves and embracing the new, like I'm no longer the same person I once was and you know, where things felt imbalanced, they're starting to find a balance with this new, and it feels really good to them. Could be Scorpio, could also be um, Capricorn energy here is what I have. So let's go ahead and look at how this person will treat Virgo. Show me how will this person treat Virgo. Okay, so the chariot and the four of pentacles. Um, I have cancer energy as well as a more Capricorn energy at the bottom of the deck right here. But this person is going to like move fast, all right? They're gonna wanna move really fast towards investing in you. They don't wanna let go, like they're gonna grab on real quick. They're gonna know exactly what they want right away and you are gonna be worth their time, their investment, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the challenge that you and this person will face. Family could be an issue, 10 of pentacles. Some of you, even it's about like being out in public community, whether that is, you know, your relationship is, um, of, it doesn't matter. I mean, I understand some people are like, it does matter, whatever, because um, you're not in this or whatever. You don't understand what I go through. But my whole point is if you love somebody, love them, okay? Um, but some of you, the challenge is about being seen in public as well, being seen publicly, whether that's, you know, you two have cultural differences, um, you know, your ethnicities are different. Um, what's that another, like you have a religious different differences, you know, or, you know, maybe you're in a, a same gender relationship. Um, if you love someone, you know, love them. That's just how I feel like love them with all your heart. I know it's sometimes it's easier said than done, but I just feel that way, Virgo. Um, with that Ten of Pentacles, there's also the tower at the bottom of the deck. So the challenge could also be family. Like I said, they could be shocked by the whole thing. It could be very surprising to them. Um, I don't know who this is. And even, it, like, shocked even in the community, like, people in your community. I don't care about them. Oh, I want to be there and, like, stand up for you and just be like, leave Virgo and their person alone. Because if they're happy then let them be happy. Um, so I have your energy here as well as Aries energy. Show me what will help with this challenge. The strength card comes out in a 50-50 energy. No when to fight and no when to let go here. You know, because at the end of the day, you do win is what I'm seeing with this queen of wands. Like in, at the end of the day, nobody can take from you who you are and how you handle things, you know, but if you handle things with like, if this is a family situation or whatever, but if you see, that's why I'm like, let me go handle it for you, Virgo, I'll go handle it for you, you know, but if this is a family situation or people being judgmental or whatever the case may be right there, um, 
not engaging to to fight with people or engage in their drama or be on the same level as them is going to make you feel better at the end of the day because nobody can take you know anything from you because you didn't allow them to to take your energy off of their bad attitude or whatever or you know their judgment or whatever so i do have leo energy more leo and sagittarius that comes out let's go ahead and get the outcome for you and this person all right we have the nine of pentacles i see one person here in this nine of pentacles it's kind of giving me a virgo vibe here like i'm good all on my own um <laughs> And the four of wands at the bottom of the deck, you know, this could be a, like, yes, I want a relationship. It feels good. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to go for it. But I'm getting the vibe of I'm pretty content where I'm at. I'm like, I'm happy. I'm, I'm good. Um, we'll see what that's about. More so what that's about. But I do have your energy and Aries energy that comes out. Let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this judgment card here. Yes. Okay, so this person is not an ex. Whew, you're welcome. Not, not, not an ex. You're welcome. This is somebody who has been working on some huge changes in their lives and they've been growing. And so they're they're stepping up into the next phase of their life and um, you know, kind of like shedding an old skin and embracing the new. We have the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. And what I'm getting here is what this person is doing is they're taking a stand for themselves. They used to not do so. Now they're taking full control. No is no. Uh, you know, they speak their mind, say how they feel, and there's no looking back. If things are going to work in a, a relationship, partnership of any kind, then this person has to be heard as well. That's how they feel. And they used to be the quiet type that would not say anything. So let's go ahead and clarify the chariot. And I do have Aries energy, uh, Capricorn, a little bit of Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius that had come out there. Uh, with this chariot and how they will treat you is they're going to want to move things fast because they're going to know. <laughs> okay, Virgo, they're going to know right away that you're it. Like, whoo, they sh like struck gold with you. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I'm all over the place. I'm all, I'm all here. I'm here. I'm here. Um, <laughs> sorry. Get all excited. Um, so they struck gold with you. That's how they feel. You know, they're really focused. That chariot, they come in really fast because they know right away with that judgment card, like they see who you are. They like you. They see that you have everything they're looking for um, in a partner and that, you know, they were blessed with it. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I, you know, I got this person in my life and it's so amazing i'm not gonna let them go um you are worth the sacrifice to them absolutely the hangman right here um so i have taurus energy i also have uh, more scorpio energy that comes out pisces as well um and then also um a little bit of capricorn that comes out so let's go ahead and clarify this ten of pentacles for the challenge challenges you two will face your loyalty in a partnership will be tested between the two of you and it's how you two are going to handle things and you know is it going to be mature are we going to be seen so some of you this is about being seen in public whether it is you know because you're of the same gender um relationship um you know different um ethnicities cultural differences whatever the case may be it's almost like this the challenges you two are hiding this instead of being out there your your commitment is being tested to each other you know your loyalty and are we do we both want this you know can we make this work together by um, showing and proving to each other 
that we, you know, we want to be seen in public, going places together, um, meeting family, things like that. That might be a, a problem for somebody. Someone needs to think about it. I'm, this hermit card coming out, like somebody needs to give this some time to think about it. Let's go ahead and clarify this strength card for what will help with these challenges. Also with your commitment being tested here, um, you know, family might test this. And if that's the case, be kind don't change who you are don't allow somebody else's bad behavior like i said rub off on you to where you act out of character of who you are sometimes you win by letting other people win if that makes sense it's like you're not losing they're like i won and you didn't but in reality you win because you didn't fight with them on something you were either not going to win or it would just have been an exhausting battle and was it worth it in the end it was, no it was just a waste of time and you got gray hair and wrinkles who freaking cares right so <laughs> yeah you don't need more wrinkles and gray hair no so or losing hair no uh strength card is clarified by the king of cups the justice card and the nine of swords i really like this because of the way that it's coming out that um you know sometimes you know you when and sometimes you won't you'll know when to fight for certain things and when not to and what will help with the challenge is to you know take leadership with knowing that you're doing the right thing um you know who you are don't let little worries get to you don't let I, it does bother you because whoever this is creating drama you know, or challenges with you and this person, this person that um, you both you both want to date each other, Virgo, but whoever this is, um, creating this drama, it's it's bothersome because I get like you want to be accepted, you don't want anyone to not like you, um, and you don't understand why this, you know, like people don't like you who don't know you. So the outcome between the two of you. All right, let's go ahead and get this. You end up taking some time to yourself to really think about things and what it is that you want before you come up with a way that you're going to talk to this person about things because you really want to think about like, do I want, do I want to continue this or end this? And it does look after some, like after some hard reflection here that you end up um, ending things. It does hurt because you wanted it to work, but it just feels like it's too much. Um, the Hermit, the Queen of Swords, and the Hangman coming out here. You know, it's, you give it some thought and you're like, no, I get it. Like, I get it. And after giving it some thought, as painful as it is and it hurts and it just feels like this sucks. Um, you're like, this ending is inevitable. It has to happen. I'm sorry, Virgo. You know, it's something that you just, you look at and you're like, I can't do that. And it's okay. Um, don't give up on love because it's out there, the right thing, the right person. And if this is the right person, maybe they'll come around and, and prove to, to you that they want the same thing you do. So slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. There's no need to rush, okay? Your mind is kind of like a maze right here. Um, and you need some rest, you know? You've been losing sleep or... You know, your mind is constantly going that you're making yourself mentally exhausted and then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this wrong and that wrong or whatever. And it's because you're just, your brain is overworked. So slow down, pause and allow things to unfold when this situation arises. And instead of worrying that things are going to go wrong or anything like that, um, you know, you might change your mind. Hopefully you two can talk things out, but I understand whenever, you, oh, look, I'm all showing you the back of a card. <laughs> this is your message. No, sorry. Just kidding. Um, but you know, I understand whenever you don't feel accepted or you feel uncomfortable around certain people and I understand, I get it. I get it. So all right, you have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Absolutely. And that 
absolutely starts with yourself as well. And I see, you know, you love yourself, but love yourself deeply so you can allow others to love you deeply and you can love them deeply, you know, and create such a strong bond that nobody can break, but it's hard when it's family and certain people that create drama, whatever that's about. I'm sorry for that, but you know what? Um, I'm just going to hope for the best for you. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to say a prayer for all of y'all tonight. And, you know, I want y'all to have love. I want you to feel good. I want everything to go well for you. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. Love you all and wish you nothing but the best. And if it doesn't work out in this situation, just keep moving forward because we're going to look at the person after this one that wants to date you as well on your next reading on this series. So uh, hit the like button if this resonates. I will see you in the next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.